hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 3 vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston the problem says that a mechanic uses a piece of pipe ab as a lever when tightening an alternator belt when he pushes down at a a force of 485 newton is exerted on the alternator at b determine the moment of that force about bolt c if its line of action passes through o so a mechanic used this piece of pipe in order to apply a force on the alternator and what he does is that he applies the force at a so when he applies the force at a 485 newton force is exerted at b in this direction and the line of action of this force is passing through that point o so the problem says that we are asked to we are required to determine the moment of that force uh, about this bolt c if its line of action is passing through that o so this is the free body diagram so we have to show the force at b and that force must be acting like this and its line of action is passing through that point o so let me show that force of magnitude 485 newton like this and the line of action of this force is passing through that point o like this so this force has a magnitude of 485 newton and we are asked to find the moment of this force about this point c so this is our point c so now we first of all we need to resolve this 485 newton force to find the moment about c so for that um, we are given all these dimensions 65 mm right so from here if i draw a horizontal line here and from here to here and from here to here all these dimensions are given this is 90 mm and this is 72 mm and if we resolve this 480 newton force into its component so we will have one component in this direction and we will have one component in this direction so let me draw the components of this force 485 newton let's say that this is equal to force f so if this is our positive x and y direction if this is our positive x and y direction then this is the x component and this will be the y component so this is f of x and this component is f of y so the moment about point c is we can say that the moment about point c will be equal to so we can say that this f of x is going to produce the clockwise moment about point c and this f of y is producing the clockwise moment about point c so let's assume that the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so this f of x is producing the clockwise moment so we will write minus f of x multiplied by the moment arm so the moment arm of this x component from that point c is this distance so let's say that this distance is this distance is let's say vertical so let's say this is y so we can say that f of x into y so we can say that this f of x multiplied by this moment arm is going to produce the moment so this is the moment magnitude which is produced by f of x about that point c similarly this f of y is producing the clockwise moment about point c and it is the clockwise so we will write minus f of y and the perpendicular distance between f of y and that point c is this distance so let's say that this distance is let's say x since it is horizontal so if we take the product of that perpendicular distance between f of y and point c x and this f of y so that will give us the moment of f of y about point c so we will say this is x into f of y so now if i draw a or is vertical line here so this distance this distance is x right this distance is x and this distance is y so this distance is y so now as we can see that y is the sum of this plus this so we can say that y is equal to 90 mm 
plus 72 so 90 plus 72 is this is 162 162 mm and if we divide it by thousand so that will be in meters so 162 divided by thousand is 0 0.162 so this is y is equal to 0 0.162 meters and similarly the x is we can say that the x this x is this 120 minus this so x is 120 mm minus 65 so 120 minus 65 is 55 mm and 55 divided by 1000 is 0 0.05 so this answer divided by 1000 is 0 0.055 meters so now we can say that the moment about point c is equal to so now we know x and y but we don't know the f of x and f of y so we have to find um, the angle of this force f with the vertical or with the horizontal so either we have to find the angle of this force f with the vertical or either we have to find the angle of this force f with the uh, horizontal so now if we consider this since this force f is passing through that point o so we can consider this right angle triangle here so we can find this angle theta so this force f will have that same angle theta here with the vertical as well since this angle and this angle they are equal so here we can consider uh, this right angle triangle we know this length and we know this length this length is this length is 72 and this length is 65 so we can find this angle theta so if we consider this uh, right angle triangle like this let's say let me draw it here so this is that point b where that force f is acting this is point o so this length is 72 mm so we will write this is 72 and this length is 65 mm so we will write that this is 65 and we want to find this angle theta so we want to find this angle theta so this is that angle theta so if i apply 10 theta to this triangle so we can say that 10 theta so for this theta the perpendicular is this and the base is this so 10 theta is perpendicular divided by base so we can say that the perpendicular is 65 the base is 72 and we can say that theta is equal to 10 inverse 65 divided by 72 so 10 inverse 65 divided by 72 this gives us we need to have the calculator in the degrees so this is 10 inverse 65 divided by 72 so it's 42.08 degrees so theta is equal to 42.08 degrees approximately so that force f is making that uh, 42.08 degree angle with the vertical so now if the if the angle is made with the vertical then f of y is the cos component and f of x is the sine component so we can say that f of x is 485 sine of theta and f of y is 485 cos of theta since the angle is made with the f of y so the f of y is the cos component so now we can find the moment about point c we can write that the moment about point c is equal to so now we have y so we know y which is 0 0.162 so minus 0 0.162 and f of x is 485 sine of theta so 485 sine of theta theta is 42.08 degrees minus x now this is x 0 0.055 multiplied by the y component so the y component is the cos component which is 485 cos of 42.08 degrees so this will give us the moment about point c so minus 0 0.162 multiplied by 485 sine of 42.08 this gives me minus 52.655 let me write it in three decimal places minus 0 0.055 multiplied by 485 cause of 42.08 this gives me 19.798 and this is equal to minus 52.655 minus 
19.798 this gives me minus 72.453 and the units will be in newton meters since this is the product of force and distance so the units of moment is always newton meter so the moment which is produced by this 485 newton force about that point c is 72.453 with negative sign so the negative sign tells us that the moment is in the clockwise moment direction so we can say that the mo the magnitude of the moment about point c is 72.453 newton meter and it is in the clockwise direction so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston